Lindell Wigginton back in the NBA. This man, you guys didn't know, played on the Bucks last year. Yep, he was on the team and he returned for a second time. The guy played for the Iowa State Cyclones in college. He was a five star recruit according to Rivals and 247 ESPN Adam Addis, a four star. He went undrafted in 2019 last year. He played in 19 games, 10 and a half minutes, and that was basically it. He ended up being, I believe, waived at the end of training camp. And then he was on the Wisconsin Herd this year. So he signs a two-way contract at 6-1. He's played 35 games, 18 of them being starts for the Wisconsin Herd. Averaging 18.6 points, 5.8 assists, and 3.9 rebounds in about 33 and a half minutes a game. This, like I aforementioned, is the second time Wigginton's been with the Bucks after he appeared in 19 games last year. And he averaged in those 19 games 4.2 points, 1.3 rebounds, and 1.2 assists in 10.5 minutes a night. And he was a guy who, in college, he wasn't bad. All right, he had, he played 56 games, 33 were starts over, between 2017 and 2019, averaging 15.2 points, half a block a game, a little under a steal a game, two and a half assists, four rebounds a game, while shooting 39% from three, 41.4% from the field. Again, 15 points a night in those 56 games over two years. So he was a productive college player. And after going on draft, he's played in 117 NBA G League games, including 60 of them, 36 being starts with the Wisconsin Herd since 2020. He's only 24 years old, all right? So he's been in the NBA since he's 20. He played in both Israel and Canada. And he's definitely a guy that if you're a fan of his, you definitely are stoked to see that he's made his way back into the NBA in a familiar situation, which is all you can ask for for a guy like him. And the fact that he's played overseas, all right, he's had success overseas. I think he's a guy that people will be cheering for definitely because it's a good story always when you see this. This is why the NBA, when you see the stories of guys like Lindell Wigginton, you know, going overseas, coming back to the G League and earning themselves an opportunity in the NBA because, you know, they could be making more money in overseas and doing other things. But for me, L Lindell's a guy who's shown that he can be a good player. I think Lindell has shown that he he's, can be an efficient decision maker and he's been given a chance to develop. And I, I'm a big fan of his that he's shown, especially like if you look at his stats over in Europe when he played in the Israel League, only eight games. I know it wasn't the best, but he showed that he, he can make an impact. And I believe he his his stats for international for the other league he played in was let me see if I can find them because they weren't on the website I just checked. But let me see if there's another one because it this one just lied to me. All right, but yeah, no, this one there no no international stuff. All right. That's a lie. That's upsetting. All right. I can't find his other international stats. So they said he played for, let's see if Real GM has them. Nothing. We're not seeing anything. All right. International stats right here. He played in 2019 to 20 for or 2020 to 21 for the Brampton Honey Badgers. And for the Brampton Honey Badgers, he played 15 games and put himself back on a roster averaging 21.5 points, shooting 43% from the field, seven threes a night, seven and a half threes at 40%. All right, five rebounds, four and a half assists, steal a night. He played great. What are your thoughts, guys? Comment.